This conference will now be recorded. Hello everyone and welcome to the live session of SAP Cloud Integration Training which is on BDP Business Technology Platform uh, Business Technology Platform and uh, this is Anu. So today uh, I am going to discuss about uh, Groovy script and uh, I will give you a little, uh, little uh, idea about a Groovy script a kind of introduction and then I will tell you how to write a Groovy script so I will give you one or two example where I will show you what are the things I can you can write or some of these examples I will show you and, and share you uh, I mean like uh, NCPI also the result step by step result and all everything I will share with you now now what is happening uh, like in suppose uh, we know that right I mean we have a mapping is there uh, i mean we have many things in cpi I mean, by which we can transform our uh, uh, data and all right but what happens suppose you are not to, not able to achieve with the standard things which is available by sap in that case we are going to use groovy script okay so in groovy script we first thing is that something called import so when you are writing something as an import basically this import statement says that i am it is going to import the functionality of other libraries okay and the what is the keyword for that one keyword for import is import so you can see here i mean uh, suppose i am going to import the java.lang this library or utility or io or a big in, uh, integer or decimal one math dot this one so if i want to i want to import it then you have to write something like import 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 kind of thing import java dot lang or import groovy script or groovy dot lang kind of thing you have to do it in your uh, groovy script writing when, when you're working in cpi but by default groovy actually include these uh, all uh, these by default i mean these things are imported in your a uh, groovy so it is not i mean so no need to go and uh, every time import these things now in groovy i mean uh, there is something called comments so what is this comment comment is nothing uh, if you want to write like something about uh, your code uh, in that case you can use this comment by using this double slash one option if suppose it is in the multiple line and if you want to write about some business and all or anything right in your code uh, which uh, which is more than one uh, line and all so in that case you can use a forward slash star for example this one you can see so it is i mean my comment is in two line so what i how many i mean what i did actually i gave a forward slash star the same thing here opening and closing now in cp uh, in groovy script there is something called identifier this identifier basically used to define variables or any functions kind of thing and this identifier basically starts with letter always remember this identifier is not going to start with any um, dollar or underscore kind of thing oh, sorry this identifier starts with letter or dollar or underscore but they cannot start with the number for example if you see here this is your identifier def is nothing your identifier so here i have given x what is it x is equal to nothing your 5 i have passing the constant value and all so now we have idea and these are like function and static word main is nothing your functions under this one basically we are defining uh, any identifier now i am telling i am i am trying to uh, tell you i mean like uh, there is some groovy script this is the first example of this and this is a very common one to capture the log of your payload in groovy through groovy script in your cpi thing is that cpi uh, cpi in cpi when you go you won't see any retry kind of thing any payload you can't see unless and until you are customizing it 
so to achieve this one you have to write code and what code this is your code so here you can see i mean this is a by default these two things you are basically importing this hash map and this custom development utility uh, message one okay so these two actually libraries you have to import it and then i mean you are going to define uh, this one like a message process data and all then you are defining the body here basically you are trying to get the body uh, which is there in your payload and all then you are defining a message log so this comes from a message log factory and it is going to capture it from the message log and all now what is happening i am here it is trying to check if message log is not equal to empty so there should be some payload is there right if there is no payload there is no use of that attachment and i mean this log right so so here i am checking whether the message log is not equal to null if it is not equal to null then i am going to set a string property and i am printing payload as a attachment this is printing i mean nothing basically i am trying to do, what i am trying to do is basically i am trying to fetch okay uh, log i am trying to fetch um, uh, this payload under this log one and then what happened i am trying to add whatever the log is there whatever the log is generated based on your payload that pay, those things actually i am trying to uh, add as a attachment so in in trace when you enable the trace or like when you go to monitoring if any message is processed and you have written this code then what happen you will see as a attachment you will see one payload with attachment with respect to your message i will show you this part but before that i will try to show one more uh, groovy script so here i am trying to uh, concatenate couple of fields okay so here again you are going to import this two level hash map and like custom devil utility message and all and importing this java or log lang also then i am defining this message process data okay here what i am trying to this map this map what, what this map is trying to do is basically what i am doing is i am trying to concatenate multiple input fields so suppose i have a three input fields and i am trying to imp, uh, i am trying to concatenate all three so in that case i am define so what happen so those fields those data okay i have already defined under content modifier and under this property so i am trying to fetch that one so this map equal to message dot get property basically is trying to fetch whatever the properties you have defined under content modifier in your groovy script and for in my case in my case what i did i have given a content modifier with f1 then another is f2 and then f3 in uh, property okay so whatever the values are there with associated with f1 property f1 that is going to uh, map with zf1 similarly f2 and f3 is going to uh, uh, i mean like it is going to assign to Z, zf2 and zf3 and here basically i am using uh, i am trying to concatenate Z, Z, ZF, zf1 with concatenate zf2 and then i am going to concatenate zf3 so f f1 f2 and f3 whatever i have defined under this content modifier under property i am going to integrate i am going to concatenate it and and after that i will define i will write a property the set property is basically writing again one property that you can see in trace okay and it will come un under this concatenate result now what i am trying to show, uh, show you is that i will include these two groovy um, script in one i flow and will show you how i mean uh, how you will get i mean like uh, how you can concatenate the data or how you can basically uh, 
log your payload and all so i am going to so uh, for uh, i mean for your understanding purpose i have basically created one i flow so in content modifier one i am going to exchange property you can see here f3 uh, i have defined an f1 f2 and f3 three properties and in f1 i am passing one f2 i am passing two and f3 i am passing blank right so the so the result will be one one two right 12 will be that because uh, f3 there is no value and all right now i have written a code okay this is a groovy script okay and this groovy script what it will it will do whatever you, this is the same thing i mean log one okay uh, basically log one will come as attachment so i am trying to fetch the uh, details okay under log one okay whatever the input is there uh, that means whatever the output of this content modifier i am trying to fetch it i am trying to capture as a log okay through this log one through this groovy script what happened so this is for the input purpose now in groovy script one this groovy script basically i have i have written a code that i have shown you on in the ppt it is going to concatenate all three fields what happened now you have concatenated it and after that you want to see the payload right then how you will do again i am writing a groovy script to log this output so you can see here that here i have given a log to this name you can change it according to your requirement okay and here i am going to capture post concatenation the log 2 is the for the post concatenation and log 1 is with the pre uh, concatenation of groovy script okay now i am going to deploy it now here you can see under you one some attachment came right so under this attachment you will see how many attachments came you can see two attachment came why because pre and post concatenation or pre or post uh, groovy script i have uses i have used that as a code groovy script i have written which will capture the data before concatenation and this will capture the post concatenation just go to this one log one this is high okay high because i mean you can you are seeing this one because uh, because in the payload i have written this one but i am what i am trying to do is i am trying to concatenate and i am trying to define those things in property but for your understanding purpose i have shown you why you can see here in content modifier if you go here in the message body you can see hi this is your payload or the body but now if i go to now i want to see the result okay result for concatenation before and after concatenation kind of thing that you can go and open this trace because you can see those things under this property now i will show you now i want to see okay what are the options were available i mean what are the inputs were available f1 and f2 and f3 now i'm going to manage 
search content go into the property now you can see f1 is 1 f2 is 2 and f3 is 3 right now i want to concatenate it where i concatenated i have concatenated here so the result of this concatenation we can see at the next step as i as i have already explained you these things so here what was the name of property where the concatenation is happening this is nothing your concatenate result so what happened this f1 which is coming as 1 f2 which is coming as 2 it is getting concatenated here in concatenate result that you have written at this place this one so whatever you are concatenating it is coming under this name okay so this is how and again i mean like uh, uh, and this script right this is again i mean like th this one and this script for this script groovy script 2 and groovy script 3 both are basically trying to capture the log this will the log will come from this one as a log 2 and from this one is coming as a log on which i have already shared with you yeah uh, this is what actually i tried to uh, give you a little intro about um, this groovy script and how you can write a group script script or how you can basically um, you, how you can write and how you can do the testing also with groovy scripts and all and what I have tried to give a quick intro about Groovy script. This is what about the today's topic. And uh, we'll meet in the next session. Thank you.